Student loan debt is depressing a whole generation and stagnating their earnings. In response, some Democratic presidential candidates are proposing incredibly lenient and expensive plans to cancel current student loan debt altogether. Among the candidates who have specific plans, Senator Elizabeth Warren proposed $640 billion in student debt forgiveness, targeting borrowers making less than $250,000 a year, while Julian Castro introduced his own partial forgiveness plan for those with a lower income or who are on public assistance. Senator Bernie Sanders outdid them with his plan to cancel the entire $1.6 trillion in student debt. So why focus on student loan debt over something else? For example, Americans have about $1.1 trillion of outstanding car debt, according to LendingTree data. And cars are arguably incredibly important to holding a job. But having a college degree has come to be as expected as a high school diploma. And the cost of that diploma has far outpaced most students' ability to pay. 2017 graduates owe an average of around $29,000. And that's not dischargeable by bankruptcy or in some cases even death. At the same time, earnings for college graduates have leveled off. Student loan debt causes borrowers to put off starting a business, having kids, buying a home, and saving for retirement. And student loan debt disproportionately affects black students, who typically owe $5,000 more and earn 15% less than the average graduate. Given all that, it's no wonder that student debt forgiveness is so popular. And my family is making a grant to eliminate their student loans. It's even been turned into a game show. If you could build a structure that would represent your student debt, what would it be? It'd be a giant middle finger. <laughs> but if borrowers aren't paying those loans back, the money has to come from somewhere else. Warren said that she'd pay for her plan with a tax on ultra-millionaires. If we put that two-cent wealth tax in place, we can do universal childcare for every baby zero to five, universal pre-K, universal college, and knock back the student loan debt burden for 95% of our students and still have nearly a trillion dollars left over. Sanders says he'll pay for his plan with a new tax on financial transactions. Our proposal, which costs 2.2 trillion over 10 years, will be fully paid for by a tax on Wall Street speculation similar to what exists in dozens of countries around the world. But critics say it could hurt economic growth and investment in the process. Other critics say that the plans would only benefit educated Americans, who are already some of the best off people in the country. Regardless, the plans are popular with the Democratic base, which has an edge over Republicans when it comes to college graduates and younger voters. And as student loan debt continues to grow, proposals to eliminate it are likely to become even more popular in the future. Thank you.